Hey guys, what's up? So, I have left a ton of comments saying that I will make a video about my first experience with the spirit molecule, DMT. And oh my god, do I, I just, wow. <laughs> Let me just put it this way. You can't always prepare for what DMT is. No matter how much you read, no matter how much you, how many videos you watch, no matter, you just cannot prepare for your first time. No matter how many people tell you what to do or what not to do, you know, there's always little tweaks that you're going to need to make for yourself as an individual because everybody is different. So, it all started, I ended up getting in contact with my old roommate, and I was like, hey bud, you know, uh, so, DMT, and he's like, DMT, I said, yep, DMT, he said, okay, no, it didn't really go down like that, but basically I've been planning for months, and I uh, ended up doing the extraction, getting my product, and then holding on to that product for a good while until I felt like I was fully ready. And so, I decided that today was going to be the day. I talked to him yesterday and I was like, hey, tomorrow. And he said, alright, I'll call you when I'm on my way home from work. Which was, um early in the morning because he works graveyard shift. So he calls me. He's like, hey, I'll be home in a little bit. And I said, all right, let me meditate a little bit, take a nice hot shower, get myself ready, and I'll be over. So I head on over there, and I sit on his bed. His bed is uh, on the floor. There's no mat, like frame or anything. There's, it's just right there, so it's really low to the ground. So, I pull out the pipe and load it and get it ready to go, and I lay back on the bed for a minute and just kind of close my eyes and just take in the quiet and just try to calm myself down because, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared shitless. I was not, like, I, I was excited, but I was also scared because I didn't know what I was gonna be shown, I didn't know what I was gonna see, was gonna last. There was just this anxiety, but there was also this excitement. So obviously, the excitement outweighed the fear. And I said, "Okay, here we go." So I started to light the pipe up, and I didn't weigh any of it out. I just put enough in to where I thought, you know, I could get a decent hit, and there would still be some left in case I wanted to take another one. But my intention was to just only take one to kind of get a taste of it. And just kind of take it slow, give it respect, and not just jump right in. Well, apparently I took a little bit too much for an open eye visual type thing uh, from somebody I talked to. Uh, and apparently it's better to weigh it even if you're, you know, whatever. But I figured I was taking one hit. Regardless if it was a full pipe or barely any in the pipe, one hit is one hit. I was going to take in the same amount of smoke. That's the way I looked at it. So, anyway, I take the hit, I hold it in, and I'm sitting there looking at the carpet because usually when I do like mushrooms or LSD or anything like that, carpet or the floor always seems to do something weird, and that's usually one of my first things that I see. And so I'm focusing on the carpet, just waiting for something to happen. I'm holding it in. It's probably been about 15 seconds or so. I start to blow it out. I held it in long enough to where when I was blowing out, nothing came out. And right at the very last bit that I was blowing out, uh, it kicked in. And it wasn't like a subtle come on was just boom like right there in my face literally like right there and I go holy shit and my 
buddy looks over at me and he's like, oh yeah? <laughs> I was like, yeah. And at this point, I mean, it, all of a sudden I, I hit this weird tunnel and I'm super uncomfortable at first. I was like holding my hands over my face, like with my hands over my eyes. And I was just clenching my face and I was just like, oh my God, like, holy shit. I didn't expect one hit to do all of this. What the fuck? And I was nervous and I was scared. But I remembered what the guy from the YouTube channel Psyched Substance said in his video that's on his website, um, psychedsubstance.com. He said he remembered one thing and it was easy. Breathe. Just breathe. And so I remembered that he had said that, so I decided to just focus on my breathing a little bit. And I started to calm down, and I got through this weird, not really a tunnel, but it was like a hallway, and there was all of these colors, like, everywhere there was like black, and blue, and purple, and pink, and just fucking crazy, and they were all pastel colored, like bright, like, I, I just, I can't explain really what they looked like, but it was just these crazy patterns just flashing and flowing, and just going nuts, and I was just pulling ass down this hallway type thing, and all of a sudden I come to the end of this hallway, and just come to an abrupt stop, and everything slows down right as I stop, and there's these, just this fluent color pattern of like pink and black and pastel green, and, and it's like it was like, the pattern was like a fence or something, but I can't explain what it was, it was like a barrier, and on the other side of the barrier, there was a wall, but then in between that, there was a presence, there was a person or a thing, it looked like a girl, felt like it was a girl, and she was moving side to side past it and kind of peeking through the designs that I was seeing on the wall, like looking at me, and I could tell that she was telling me, you're not ready, you're not ready for this, like, this isn't for you right now, and I was like, why, and she said, well, you're too nervous, you can't be nervous, you have to let go, and I was like, oh, okay, and I said, well, I, I feel like I let go, and she says, no, your hands are still over your face, you're still holding your hands over your face, you're not even relaxed. off of my face and I put them onto my chest and I'm just laying there and then this is where things kind of started taking a weird turn. Um, the place where I was at, I had told them what it was like and what to expect and you know what I would be dealing with while I was on it. And it would need to be pretty quiet and just chill. Well, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, I don't take it as, like, anything bad, but uh, the roommate girl came in and she was asking if I was okay and if I was, you know, whatever. And she was asking my friend if she could buy me a cigarette and then they had a little chit-chat about going to get cigarettes or something like that. And I was just thinking to myself, like, shit, I don't want to hear reality things right now. Like, it, it sounds too weird and too real. Like, I don't want to be hearing this right now. And I was already, like, still a little bit uncomfortable. And it was making things kind of go weird, so I decided to, to sit up. So I sit up, and I, I open my eyes. And then all of a sudden, this very moment I open my eyes, my phone rings. And I was like, shit, why didn't I put that on silence? So, anyway, I'm looking at my phone, I pick it up, and I was like, fuck. I was like, I don't know what to do. I was like, do I answer it? What would I normally do? You know, I knew what to do, but everything on my phone looked weird. Like, it was bright as all could fucking be. And the, the number that came up was like in different symbols. It wasn't an actual phone number. All I could make out was uh, the name of the person that was calling. That was it. And everything on the top of my screen looked like weird, like... Uh, just symbols is all I can explain and so I, 
I just reject the call and I set it back down <clears throat> and I start talking to my friend and I'm like, dude, like if I could just explain to you what I'm seeing right now. And he's like, it's amazing to me how how fast something can set in on somebody like that. And I was like, dude, I know. And I was just looking around the room and everything. Now I know exactly what hyper-realistic means when people say that because everything was like fucking real. Like, but like realer than real. It was fucking like, I felt like my, my regular life was just gone. Like, and I was in this whole other like realm of shit. And, but I was still like kind of in between. So I don't know. And then I decided to go and stand up and I was like looking around at things and I just kept thinking to myself, gosh, I just kind of want to come down now. I just kind of want to come down now because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I was just, it, I wasn't ready for what I saw. It just happened way too quick. Now I know what to expect. So next time it's not going to be like that, but I uh, ended up going outside with my friend to smoke a cigarette and we walked out on his back deck and there's a wooden fence and there was all these eyes like eyeballs but like they weren't like they were weird looking eyes and there was just a fucking shit ton of them they were just all over the place and they weren't really like like staring me down they were just kind of noticing me i guess like they noticed me and that was it but everything beyond that fence was normal so everything in front of the fence on my side, the grass was like waving like it was watery. Little mushrooms were growing out all over the place. These little tiny white, like bright white, like amazing looking mushrooms, but they were just poking out everywhere. And like they would poke up out of the ground and then they'd go back down and they were all waving around. And some of them would get like, I don't know, maybe a foot tall and they'd pop back down. And I was just like, I looked at my buddy and I was like, dude, holy shit, if I could only just show you what I'm seeing right now, and he was looking at me like, really, damn, <laughs> so, anyway, I'm like, alright, well, you know, I'm starting to come down or whatever, but if there's anything I got from this that, uh, I would share with anybody else, it's definitely try to plan, but no matter what, you're always going to need to tweak something different, so, if it's your first time, start low, probably do a measurement, and, uh, just kind of go from there. Learn what you need for your setting. That way you don't delve into something in a setting that's not proper and end up making a turn for the worse. I'm very strong-minded, so I was able to handle it and, you know, deal with it and no problem. But, so, besides that, it was definitely the most intense, like, psychedelic experience. I mean, I've seen all kinds of stuff on LSD and crazy stuff on mushrooms too, but this tops it by like light years and definitely show respect for it. And my next trip, I'm actually kind of scared because I felt like the girl was kind of like, almost like, you're not ready for this and I know who you are. <laughs> you ready to come through? Yeah, like, it was almost like she was mad at me. There was no love. I didn't feel that love that everybody explains. I felt more like, I know who you are. Yep. Yep. Oh, I've got something for you. That's kind of what it felt like. So anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys listening. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.